All right, this is the uh, second solving multi-step inequalities with variables on both sides. So I'm going to edit it so it looks different than the other ones. Instead of saying solving multi-step inequalities with um, variables on both sides, I'm going to say solving gigantoid multi-step inequalities with variables on both sides. Now, I know that's not a word, but uh, I didn't want to use the word gigantic. I wanted to use something else. So, gigantoid it is. Anyway, t uh, this lesson is based on the idea of what we've been working on in previous lessons. It shouldn't be a big deal. Um, it's just a l there's more distributive property in these. They're so long, in fact, they only have two examples, which should make you happy if you're the type who didn't like to sit through long examples. We're going to follow the same procedures as we have been before. This one is so big that I'm going to put a book under the camera to prove some point to myself that I can lift the camera, I guess. Actually, it's so you can get it all on the screen. There's a lot of math there to be done. Now, it's very simple. As long as you follow the basic principles, as always, the first step, of course, is to draw the line. If you can dig through, there's the inequality, draw the line. Now, the next step would be uh, baby goes bathroom or the distributive property. Negative 8 times 1 gives you negative 8. Negative 8 times 5x gives you negative 40x. Then I'm going to do 7 times 1, and since it, the answer happens to be plus 7, or positive 7, I'm going to put plus 7 there. Uh, 7 times negative x, wait, wait, what? Oh yeah, that should be a 1. 7 times negative 1x is negative 7x. Bring down all your junk from the other side, because there's no distributive property. Now, from this step, the next step is clean your room, so we're going to combine any like terms we happen to find on the same side of the equation. We're going to do it as stated in the problem. Negative 40 minus 7 gives me negative 47x. Negative 8, by the way, this is Skin's team, negative 8 plus 7 would be negative 1. These are like terms because they don't have variables. 2 plus 7x is 9x. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Now we've got pork chops and applesauce. I'm going to move this plus 9x by subtracting 9x from both sides. These cancel. This becomes negative 56x. Now, uh, party's over. Here I am. Friend. Friend of friend. We'll eliminate that. Get rid of minus 1 by adding 1. This looked gigantic like it would never work out, and then you get down to 0. Now, in equations at this point, you know it's just going to be 0, so you're done. In inequalities, it's another thing altogether. I still need to go through with the steps. Divide by negative 56. The reason I need to go through the steps is because this step is so important. This is still 0. I mean, the number doesn't change. The inequality does. I divide it in the last step by a negative. It means I need to flip this over. X is now greater than 0. So I'm going to to draw the graph, I'm going to go to 0, make a circle around it. It's not underlined, so that means it's just a greater than and not a greater than equal to. So I'm going to leave it open. X is on the side that's the bigger side, so X is greater because it's on the greater side. Numbers greater than 0 include 1 and anything else that's above 0. That would be going this way. So the arrow goes like this. Not a big deal. Let's do one more. And then you're free to work them yourself. This one's a little bit hard to see. I don't know why I felt like mustard would be a good color for a marker, but I chose it anyway, so I'm going to stick with it till the bitter end. First step is drawing the line. Now, I need to do distributive property. Baby goes bathroom. 2 times 1v would be 2v. 2 times 3 would be 6, last time I checked. I'm just looking at the fact that this is positive and this is positive for the plus, not this. It's irrelevant to me. That'll be borne out in the next one that I do. 6 times negative 7 is negative 42. This is positive 6. This is negative 2. So 6 times negative 2 would be negative 12v. Now, if this were a plus and this were a minus, I wouldn't just bring the plus down automatically. You can do it. I just don't like to have two signs at once. It's confusing to the... It's disorganizing for me to do that, so I don't. But you can if you want, whatever. Um... Anyway, uh, clean your room, so I'm going to see if there's any like terms. There's some like terms. I'm just, since it's on the same side of the line, I'm just going to read the story. Once upon a time, 2v minus 6v gave me negative 4v. Uh, 
Now I've got pork chops and applesauce. So I'm going to get rid of this. I underlined it to point it out, and now it looks like I'm going to divide, but I'm really not. This is minus 12, so I'm going to add 12v. I regret underlining that step now, because now it looks confusing. Negative 4 plus 12 is 8v. Now I'm going to get rid of plus 6 because this 8 is right next to the V, so I'm going to save that. Get rid of plus 6 by subtracting 6 on both sides. Negative 48. Now this thing's negative, so in the last step I'm going to flip the inequality, right? Not necessarily. The only thing that matters is this step. I'm going to get rid of the times 8 by dividing by 8. This is the step that determines something about whether I flip it or not. Obviously I've run out of paper, so I'm going to use a very ingenious solution, uh, which is using another piece of paper underneath. So continuing forward with my genius plan here. Um, draw the line. V, these cancel out. Negative 48 divided by 8 is negative 6. Now, this is positive 8, so that means I do not have to flip this over. It used to be uh, facing this direction. It's still going to be facing this direction. Despite the fact that the answer and this 48 are both negative, that is irrelevant. The sign in front of the V, or the variable at all, did not change, so we just keep it. Now, to graph this one, I'm going to go to negative 6 on my own home main number line. I'm going to make a circle. I'm not going to fill it in because there's no line underneath to say it's included in the solution set or um, you know I didn't do much to write it so I'm not going to do much to graph it either V which is the star of the show is next to the big end which is the greater end so V is greater numbers get greater going this way so that's my answer so although these big gigantoid problems look like you know forget this type problems like you see them and you're just quit they're not hard at all just you know they're very functional and you can do them pretty easily so don't get frustrated that they look long just keep focusing on the system and they'll be easy in no time so good luck